Hi everyone, it's Multiple Monday, and I am working on these little, um, what do you call them, um, mini composition books, I suppose. Um, as you know, I'm making multiples to get ahead for my Christmas boutique, which is the first week in December. <clears throat> I made 12 of these last time, and they sold out. Um, people would buy three, four, five of them and they didn't last very long. I'd say half an hour they were gone. Um, and so I, I thought I'd show you how I did it. They're um, very easy. Um, but, you know, people like stocking stuffers. And uh, I got these mini composition books at um, Dollar Tree. I think they come in a three pack. Um, these do have the sewn in binding. Um, and so I've just covered it I've used some glue stick. Now you want to be careful with this because the glue stick, you know, is his nature is squishy, <laughs> gushy. Um, and if it goes over the edges, it will glue your pages together, um, as I learned. And so I've just taken a Reader's Digest um, book and, you know, the pages after I've gutted it. And I'm just gluing that on the cover like so. Like I said, this is really easy. You can make a bunch of these. And I'm going to use my cutter for this. Um, my, um, my blade. You could use scissors. I just find it a little bit easier to do this. And hopefully I don't go astray because my light in here is not great. I'm just going straight here along the edges of the book using the cover as the guide. There's a shadow so I'm trying to get there. Now take your time because these old book pages they have a tendency to tear and snag as you can see so I'll just use the scissors there and then wherever you um, you know you can use your scissors um, I thought this would be great I could use my clippers but if you go all the way in and clip you will cut the cardboard so I just go kind of press it halfway down till I get to the edge and then just cut that little of course trying to show you and do it myself is two separate things but I just go up to it so I'm just cutting the paper now if sometimes there's still paper hanging off so that's where the file comes in and I just go around the edges and that will tone everything down if a little bit of the cover shows through it's no big deal because we're going to ink everything but you can see this will take no time at all. I've made um, four or five of them already, right? Yeah. Um, and I've only been in here for maybe 45 minutes. So I um, am using, get that cutter out of the way so I don't cut myself. I am using gathered twigs, but you use what you like or what you have. And I do go around the outside first to make kind of a darker edge so that it does look aged. And you could do this on larger composition books as well if you wanted to. I know they have some that are like 5x7 size. haven't been able to find, actually I think they're 5x8. I haven't been able to find any of those. So, But these are always great. And then I, with using just the ink that's left on there I just start making little circles. And I go around the outside and kind of work my way in so that it's lighter in some areas than others. Now, I have had Reader's Digest book pages that were already this color. If that's the case, just go for it. Um, so I thought I would use this little flourish. This is a um, Tim Holtz. Let's see, this one is Urban Chic. That's the set I'm using. And I've got my little, um, my stays on. And the stays on that I'm using is uh, Timber Brown. That's the color I'm using. 
and okay so I'm just going to flip that over I do give it a second just for that ink to kind of get in there and I don't know what I did with my little ah oh, there it is little plastic thing for that and rather than trying to pick it up and smudge it I just dump it off okay I did uh, this is the collection here uh, Stampers Anonymous Tim Holtz collection Urban Chic CMS 086 so I apologize for shaking I haven't eaten breakfast I need to do that um, let's put some um, gems on here though I like to have a little bit of bling and um, these um, adhesive flat back well they're kind of a yellowish rhinestone and well I guess champagne is the color I would describe them as but they've got the rhinestones and the um, flatback pearls that's the word I'm looking for okay and then I'm just actually I think I'll use this to help me place it um, but you can see how fast and easy these are to make great gifts great stocking stuffers um, I think I'm gonna place that right there like that could have placed it up here but there you go I have used six different stamps so I've got the flourish I've got the heart this one had like an open place for like writing a word so I put the bling there um, this one has a bird this one has the butterfly this one has a nice little um, I don't know trellis and then this one has just another kind of flourish but yeah those are fun so I've covered them front and back and um, I've got a multiple of six now I've got another probably I think I've got nine more over there that I need to make but I'm not gonna make them today because I am working on my other multiples so I've got <laughs> I've got three sets of multiples I need to spend some more time working um, but I've got to keep you guys in multiples right it is Monday after all Monday keeps coming around again and again so here's where I am with these wraparound journals I, I'm not sure I like the wraparound um, I don't know and I think the, the gal that I I think it's paper addiction that I saw I'm not sure anyway I think these need more paper so I'm thinking now I've got um, six of these ready to go but I'm pretty sure they need the five signatures but now I have not stuffed everything in I've put envelopes with tags in the front pockets like I said this is going to be monochromatic it's going to be writing um, I did add some Tim Holtz washi tape um, but it does look a lot nicer with the five signatures so um, and then I need to I'm, I think I'm just going to use a a lace or uh, probably seam binding closure so I'm gonna need to dye some some seam binding um, but I have all of these um, if I do the five signatures I'm gonna have to put some more together um, what I've got is coffee dyed paper and I punched holes with my cinch to get more coffee dyed um, they do have a sheet of music I took um, each signature is the same I took a doily and folded it to make a doily pocket and another piece of coffee this is a letter size envelope which I have glued glued folded the flap over I did sew around the entire thing so I've got pockets on that side and a tuck on that side um, then I took a piece of tracing paper and 
folded it up to make pocket and just sewed down both sides. And then I've got a piece of um, graph paper. And then um, when I sew in the signatures, I'm going to fold this over um, and glue to make a pocket and that will cover that will hide the the stitches um so that's a lot of sewing in um six times five or yeah six times five is 30 six times three is 18 that's why i was thinking going with three signatures i'm going to play with it a little bit longer because um i haven't put the pockets or anything yet so i'm going to go ahead and add pockets to the inside of this. Not a lot, because we've already got these, but I need to add tags in the pockets or journal cards. And then there's a couple of pages where I want to put like a triangle flip, flip up kind of spot because I want these to be for writing. Um, now, if I sew these in, I'm going to be, you know, s sewing through the card or um, chipboard, um, which is fine. Uh, but I'm thinking I might try and do a wrap around with the seam binding and then tie the bow on the outside and I think that might look nice but then again what about this closure so I haven't quite decided exactly what I want to do um, I'm half tempted to just cut this piece off and use it for something else um, I don't know we'll see I, I do have some little pieces of metal that um, kind of can snap over. Uh, do I know where they are? No, I used them for um, my suitcase that I did from my cruise. But um, anyway, so I'm still working on those. Um, and then the other multiples I'm working on. Oh my goodness, I don't have room. I'll just pull a few. The other multiples I'm working on, I did go ahead and... Um, I have sewn the signatures in. I did sew around the covers, inked those, sewed in the signatures, and so these are ready for me to put the pockets and tags in, and then those will be ready. And I need to put some lace um, on this first page here, and then put this um, in the back, and um, looks like that is the same paper, almost. Um, so I thought about putting that here, but I kind of like having it on the back cover. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm still working on these. So I will show you, I promise, um, when I get them all finished. But for today, my multiple um, Monday is all about making these um, cute little um, composition books. So fun, so easy, make up a bunch. Um, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.